In the recent home game against Burnley, Carlos Tevez made a return to the East End and was welcomed back by the fans with open arms. Tevez was a guest in the crowd. He appeared pitch side and was gifted an updated jersey and a new West Ham scarf. It's been 15 years since he departed West Ham, but he still remains a cult hero in the East End of London. He was a major part of the Great Escape of 2007. His goals contributed to helping West Ham to maintain its Premier League status. And he was a very big name at the club at the time. Having signed from Corinthians alongside Javier Mascherano, his fellow Argentine, the two struggled to break into the West Ham team at first, but once Tevez finally got the monkey off his back and started scoring goals, he made some important contributions to the team. He played 32 games for West Ham and scored seven goals before he transferred to Manchester United after just one season in East London. Tevez since went on to win Premier League titles, was named Argentinian Footballer of the Year twice, was a major inspiration to players such as Manuel Lanzini and left a big print on West Ham. He did so in a very positive way. Tevez is, and as I have said in previous videos, one reason why I started supporting West Ham. When I was younger, I wasn't really interested in football, but that Tevez goal against Tottenham, I watched that with my own two eyes on Sky Sports, on the big TV in my dad's living room, and I just immediately had some interest in West Ham. And the rest, as they say, is history. Here we are today. Carlos Tevez was certainly a big reason why I started to support this club. And I must admit, although I wasn't actually gutted that he left at the time and didn't understand the implications of why he left... I certainly remember, remember that goal he scored at Old Trafford. I think a lot of fans of my generation remember that too. He gave an interview with um, West Ham's official website to talk about his time at the club, how he settled in to English football, about Mark Noble, the relationship with the fans, and his message to the fans at this present moment in time. Tevez's time in London was very short, but it was very positive. It was the first time he'd signed for a club outside of his home continent to South America. He, it was his first time moving to uh, Europe. And it was his first club in England, was West Ham. So he had a lot of adjustments to do. Not only did he have to adjust to a new culture and a new language... He had to adjust to a new style of play. As he said in the interview, and I quote, The first few months were very difficult for Mascherano and myself since we came from Brazilian football, which was very different. That's why we had to work hard to achieve our objective, which was to stay in the Premier League. Obviously, when you move to another culture and another country, you go through a very big honeymoon period. I attest because I moved from England to Canada. You go through a big honeymoon period... Things always don't work out as well, and especially when you're a footballer, you tend to have um, the fans on your back if you're not exceeding what they consider an expectation. Now, Tevez really struggled to hit the ground running, but when he did, it was worth the wait. And I think Mascherano didn't really settle with the West Ham team, but Tevez thankfully did. And them coming over from Corinthians seem to work out in the end, be it for better or for worse, depending on who you want to examine. Tevez also spoke about Mark Noble, who was a very young lad. He was 19, 20 years old during that season. And he was an upcoming young player in the team. Tevez says, quote, I remember Mark was just a kid with a lot of hunger and desire to play football. It's weird to see him at the end of his career, but he's achieved a lot and had a great career. He grew up with the club, so he deserves it and deserves a statue outside the club because he is Mr. West Ham. Even saying those words, Mr. West Ham, Tevez knows what's up. He knows what's up. He knows that that is how Mark Noble is referred to. And he understands Noble. He's remembering when Mark Noble was a boy and now sees Noble as a man. Mark has always wanted to play for this club. He's dedicated his whole life to it. 
So I suppose I do agree with Tevez. It is weird that his career is coming to an end. It's sad. And um, players like him just don't come round very often. So I think that's what else Tevez is alluding to. He spoke about his relationship with the fans. And this was really nice. He said, it was like love at first sight. I felt that I had to give something back because they gave me such a warm welcome. And that's what West Ham fans do. We give all players a warm welcome to this club. And we always want them to do well, no matter how much they cost or who they are. I remember when I was on the bench and not coming on in the game, the fans always called for me. It was like love at first sight on both sides. There's no other fans like West Ham because they give it all for the club. That's giving me like a warm, fussy feeling on the inside. I'm not going to lie. We are special fans. Because we, we love the players. And as long as they give 100%, that's all we ask for. And I think Tevez gave 100% in the end. And um, he did what he had to do. He paid his dues. He was fantastic in the way he represented the club. He also gave a message to the West Ham fans where we talk about the supporters, which was, quote... The message I have is to keep the same passion that I know they've always had. This was my first club in Europe, so it was like my first love. Being in a club where the fans are so passionate and have an unconditional love for the team make it totally different from any other fan base. And what you get at West Ham with this, these fans is real love. And that's what Carlos Tevez felt, real love and real affection for him and real respect and integrity. Other supporters of other teams don't get that. People just look at the name of the club and the silverware and think, oh, yeah, that's just a successful club because it's won a lot. Well, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. West Ham's been a successful club over the decades. It's a very important club in England and a very highly respected club. Ever West Ham fans have gone, home fans have said, oh, those West Ham lot were absolutely passionate. They did a really good job all the game, cheering, getting behind and the players and making such a magnificent atmosphere. Tevez knows the passion. And when the bowling ground was sold out, you could feel that raw emotion. And he is right. West Ham was his first love, in a way. And it got him onto bigger and better things. I'm not saying that this club was just a stepping stone for him or a stopgap for him to move on to something bigger. But it was somewhere for him to start off. And without West Ham United... Maybe Carlos Tevez wouldn't have been a Manchester United or a Manchester City player. Maybe he wouldn't have moved off to China. Maybe he wouldn't have gone to play in Italy. Who knows? But one thing is for sure. No matter what happened in the past, Carlos Tevez was and always will be a hammer for life. I really love him. I'm glad that he could play for West Ham. And he was very proud to represent the Claret and Blue. It was a great interview and lovely to see him back at the stadium. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Off The Press. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.